Big money, no babies? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Callie's Caves 3, an action platforming game with a female protagonist. She looks like Penny from Inspector Gadget, and she's got a friend who like plays guitar and stuff. Those are the checkpoints, those little easel looking things. Futuristic easel, it's like an iPad on an easel. Um, you can collect coins and such, you will buy weapons, and then they can be upgraded by using them. It's kind of like Cave Story in that uh, regard, although the shooting is not as dynamic. You can only shoot directly in front of yourself, which I find quite unfortunate. Sort of a missed opportunity there. You initially start the game with three hearts. I've worked my way up to six through leveling and the like. And uh, we're still in the first stage, so it is relatively easy. But once you get deeper, it's uh, it's gonna be quite crazy, and we'll probably jump to that or boss fight. Here we are. Here we are at the boss fight. Look at that big badass deranged direwolf. Hopefully, we'll be able to do some stuff. Oop! Gotta jump over him just like that. Hope I'm full of lead. Oh my. You can't get hurt by his tail, so it's got to be basically a perfect jump. Oh god. Yeah. Knew that was going to happen. At least it's going that way now. Look at all these free hits. Yay! All for one heart. But I had three when I first did this, so uh, quite difficult. Yeah. Please don't hurt me. Oh god, he got me. He got me twice. He got me twice. He's a cheater. He's a hacker. Oh god. Crap. This is not okay. Oh my, oh my. Not today, not today. Lord. Is he moving faster? Is it just me? Please, no more! No more! <laughs> oh, there he goes. Chicken leg, chicken leg. And here's the shop. We could buy some delicious things. Uh, let me look at weapons. Weapons, weapons, weapons. I don't have enough to afford the, uh, the add-ons, I suppose you'd call it. Yeah, 250,000. Nope! I have 10,000. We're quite away from that. Uh, I could buy some, uh, some coin multiplier. Ooh, that's pretty good. I think I have one already. But, uh, we need some more, apparently, to get to where we need to be. Alright. Now we're in the caves. Level two! Level two! Level two! Is this guy dead yet? Are you dead yet? Yay, you're dead yet! Oh, Jesus! Panda friend, you are my friend! You are my panda friend! He's not a panda, but he's a friend! Cute! He's a bear! He's a little tiny bear! Running through the forest! He beats up the wolves! Of course a bear beats up wolves! Fuck a wolf, son. Beat up a bandit, kid. Mixed up the gameplay a little bit. That's kind of nice. Oh, and this is difficult platforming here. If you look at this, quite difficult. Platforms quite little, you see. Bee! Everybody look out for the bee! Nasty bee. I like how the names pop up on the enemies each time you encounter them. Or not each time you encounter them, the first time you encounter them. Makes it pretty cool. Ooh, roll dodge. We're getting powerful. So powerful. Your assault rifle is now awesome! Fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It shoots even faster! I didn't think it was possible, but it does! Oh god damn it. <laughs> All right, poor boss, giant wiggly spider, Buzz the terrible tarantula. He is quite terrible, isn't he? Oh god. At least I got this triple jump now. Oh shit! No, no, no! Leave me alone! It's real bad. I do not like the little spiders. Where did the mama go? Nope, 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 no babies, no babies. <laughs> Big money, no babies. 
Oh, we got him. That bastard. Yeah! Super level up time! Get all the gems. That's nice. Eagle's Peak. Oh, what are you doing out here, fucko? You may think this is a victory, but I promise you, it only gets worse from here. Herbert, listen. Boosh! Bombs in your face, bitch! Dropping bombs in your face, bombs in your face, bitch. Bombs in your face, bombs in your face, bitch. Bombs in your face, my name is Herbert, motherfucker. Wow. I didn't know he could freestyle. Well, he didn't really actually rhyme anything yet, technically. Shut up, naysaying! Everything I create! So, friends, I had a great time with Callie's Cave 3. I hope you will check it out on Steam. I'm also doing a giveaway on Rafflecopter, so that link is in the description. Uh, it's via Indie Game Bundles, so I'll link to that article, and you can uh, get your entries from there. For the controls, I've given the game a 6 out of 10. It's definitely serviceable. It's tight as far as the platforming goes, but the combat is definitely suffering. I would like to see the game... Uh, Maybe with twin stick controls so Callie could shoot up and over her head. The characters are designed so it's not really 100% necessary, but it's just something that would feel better in my opinion. So a uh, little above average on the controls, but still not great at a 6 out of 10. The fun factor, I've given an 8 out of 10. I had a great time sitting down with Callie's Caves 3. Uh, the levels are just bite sized enough that you can sit down and play it no matter how much time you have. And even if you've completed the story before, you can come back and speed run your way through it, buy different weapons, such like that, which really, really adds to the fun factor for me. So definitely above average, add an 8 out of 10. The difficulty, I've given a 9 out of 10. It is not the most difficult game that I've ever experienced, but it's definitely getting there, uh, especially in the later levels with the checkpoints getting further and further apart. Even though your life total is uh, extremely increased, it, it still gets pretty difficult. I'm not sure what to attribute that to. It could be the design of the stage. It could be the AI of the enemies. Those spider enemies are just fucking horrible. Um, <laughs> but overall, definitely difficult regardless of the reasons. So I've given it a 9 out of 10. Replayability, an 8 out of 10. I like the weapon upgrades. I like the different branching paths within the level. I'd like to go back and see what it holds. Uh, as well as the the shop all the different upgrades that are available there Even if you kind of do have to start with the coin multiplier if you uh, want to see any progress with that so Definitely replayable. I'll find myself coming back to this game 8 out of 10 from Nathan does Innovation I've given a 4 out of 10. I'm basing this off something like cave story So I've definitely seen something Quite similar to this before with the leveling up of the weapons and all that while it does add its own flavor to it, I think it struggles to create its own identity. Most of the bosses you see are like, oh, bandit with knife, bandit with gun, spider, wolf. Um, I'd really like to see some, some interesting things that I haven't seen before, and this game was not able to deliver on that front, unfortunately. So uh, below average at a 4 out of 10 on the innovation. On the aesthetic side, we have the graphics at a 7 out of 10. The game is wonderful. The game is colorful. I definitely enjoy it. Um, I put it above average. For a two-man indie studio, it's definitely an impressive feat. Um, if I considered that, I might even put it above a 7 out of 10. But I'm trying to keep an even playing field, so that's what we're left with. Above average, 7 out of 10. Great job, guys. Music, I've given a 10 out of 10. Holy shit, I love this soundtrack. Uh, the giveaway copies actually do include a copy of the original soundtrack, and I would highly suggest putting it on your iPod because it's just so replayable, so delicious, and yeah, I, I put it on at the party. It is that good. 10 out of 10 for the music. Sound effects, I've given a 6 out of 10. I just have a pet peeve about repetitive sound effects, and I was holding down the assault rifle button a whole lot, and it kind of just... Um, made me think less of it. To start, it was really good with just the pistol and the shotgun. Um, so the, the assets are not great, but they are there. <laughs> Which I appreciate. The story I've given a 7 out of 10. It serves to keep the, uh, 
the plot moving forward. It is the same story as the previous two Callie's Caves, which were uh, only on portable Android iOS. Um, but given that, it, it's done relatively well. The information that was given in the past two games is recovered, so new people won't be completely lost. I was a new person in this game, and I wasn't completely lost, which was a nice feeling. So uh, I've decided above average, 7 out of 10 is quite fair, um, but honestly the story is a little thin, so if you're looking to uh, have your mind blown by the amazing story, this is probably not the one for you, but it does serve its purpose. Level design, I've given a 6 out of 10. It is relatively well done, although a bit linear feeling in my opinion. I really like the larger levels and the split off branching paths and all that stuff, and I really wish they would have taken that a little bit further. Um, however, I do understand that the point is to get to the end of the game, not just have a gigantic side quest. Still, I would like to see some more uh, side rooms and such implemented in the future, maybe, perhaps. So friends, Callie's Cave totals Callie's Cave 3 totals out at a total score of 71 out of 100. That is a 3.55 out of 5 stars. It just edged out uh, Punch Club, which I did last week, which is kind of a buggy port of an iOS game. This feels like an iOS game to me, something that could be portable, um, but it's not buggy, so I'm thankful for that. Definitely need to uh, step up the controls, the innovation, the sound effects, and the level design, I suppose, if uh, you want to break above that that delicious 4 out of 5, but it's good for what it is, it's relatively cheap, and if it looks like something you'd enjoy, I highly suggest going to check it out. Uh, please check out the raffle copter giveaway uh, in the description. I think that's still going until the, 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 the 14th, something like that, Valentine's Day. Anyways, I've been Brandon Dayton, friends, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy the episode, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe, but only if you did enjoy the content. And this, I'll see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friends.